Thanks for checking out today's video, guys. Today we're diving in talking about how to make a DIY Kydex sheath for your hatchet or axe. This is gonna be a very simple DIY upgrade for your axe or hatchet that can be done very, very quick with just some simple tools, a little DIY Kydex press if you don't have one, and just a little bit of Kydex, and that's it. So if you like these kind of videos, stay tuned for the rest of this one. Like and subscribe, and let's dive into it. So the sheet that we're going to be making is going to be for this Cold Steel Trail Boss. It's the newest axe that I have in my collection, and we're going to be doing this upgrade for it. But I have two different sheaths right here, one for this Fiskars X7 and the other one for the Charade. But essentially, they're made pretty much the same way with the whole purpose of protecting the blade, and it has this strap that kind of goes around the back. I mean, you're going to be able to throw this in your pack and not have to worry about damaging anything in your pack or the edge of the blade on this thing. So nice little setup there. The grommet's laid out. I don't have one up here. I think the one we're gonna make this time is gonna have one up here. That way there's a little bit more retention up here on the sheath, because, I mean, it does move around just a little bit, but this doesn't have to fit you know, very, very tightly like a knife sheath does. I mean, you can see up here, it's got plenty of retainment, and this thing isn't going anywhere. So you can kind of make them however you want, but we're gonna go through and show the basics. And this one is far from perfect. I made this one years ago, and I really didn't take the time and attention to detail to even round off the edges or anything like that. But for the one we're gonna to make today, we are gonna focus a little bit more on the attention to detail. This one right here for this charade, kind of the same concept. Goes around the back and locks it in. And this one's a little bit more secure. I mean, it's not going anywhere. So you can see this one's more straight up and down, but I think we're gonna go with more of this style over here where it's a little bit more onto the, the sides of the blade a little bit. And I think we're probably gonna stick with this style where it's just a flat strap around it. So for the Kydex Press, we are gonna be using our DIY Kydex Press that we just made. So please check out that video on how to make a DIY Kydex press. Very simple and very cheap. So we talked about the Kydex press. Well, you're gonna have to have some Kydex. So check out the link below in the description box to the Kydex that I use. And I just buy in sheets just like this. It's about 12 inches by eight inches. And it's like 12 bucks for three sheets of this. So it's not too pricey in the, in the scheme of things. You think if you go out and purchase a Kydex sheath or a leather sheath uh, to go on your ax, it's going to cost a lot more than that. So for a DIY project and something you can take pride in, it's not a bad investment. So as you can tell, I've already went through and kind of marked out where I'm going to be making my cuts. And we're probably going to make the cut here. And that's going to give us enough room on the backside to make that little strap that goes around the handle portion here. And then I have an excess piece from another project that I had. I mean, you, if you only had one sheet, obviously you could cut this down, but this is gonna be the part that goes over the top part of the blade there. And we're gonna be able to trim that down. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need is some grommets or eyelets. These are 8-8 eyelets. And then I also have a very basic eyelet setter. And these are kind of tricky to use. So if you've never used one of these before, you, you kind of need to practice kind of some technique and stuff. Uh, or you're gonna be messing the eyelets up, but I might be making a, a video on some technique and stuff for these because uh, it is a little tricky. If you had the eyelet press where it's like a, a nice little machine that kind of sits here and you can kind of use it as a press, those are super easy. This one gets a little tricky because you need a hammer to actually you know, set the eyelets and press it down. But nonetheless, you can learn how to use one of these pretty quick and it's gonna get the job done. They're only like eight bucks for one of these. I'll also place a link in the description box for these two and the eyelets. All right, so we made some last minute adjustments here. And this is, like I said, where you can kind of get creative with it and make it your own. But I backed this one up just a little bit, so we're gonna use this one. And then I added another grommet right here. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut on the far side of this line so we We'll have this one backed up just a little bit. And none of this is gonna be showing because we're marking on the inside part of the Kydex. 
So I'm probably gonna cut it around right here. And the cuts for that don't have to be perfect because all of this is gonna be getting ground down anyway. See right there, I just applied a bunch of pressure and we snapped it right through and then you just pop it back this way. There you go, nice clean cut. So this is what we're left to work with. This is gonna be the nice side of the Kydex. Let's get a little oil on it here, no big deal. All right, so we're gonna go through and mark out kind of where we want the design to be. So I'm thinking back here, I want the strap to be, I want the strap to run just below the pole back here. All right, we'll probably just come through in a swoop like this. All right, we'll pay attention to that one. All right, and then back here, we're gonna leave about an inch and a half. Mark where the end of the kydex is going to be. So somewhere right there. And then we can kind of just connect the dots or the lines again. All right, just like that. And then we can cut that out, and it's going to give us less material to actually have to heat up. All right, so we're going to cut this out. And the cuts don't have to be perfect. We're gonna take a Dremel after all of this and make the cuts a lot better. But you can kind of just work it around there and you'll be able to break it off. All right, so super easy to cut Kydex. Right, so that's what we're left with for the main side. So you can see that's kind of how it's going to work. And that strap's going to be heated up and that's going to be the retention on the back of the ax. All right, so we got these cut out. What we're gonna do next is actually put these together. And a lot of people don't do this, but I found that it helps me out and it makes it more consistent. When I go ahead and put the eyelets and the grommets in first before I put it in the oven and heat it up, that way when it's together already and you put the ax in into the press, you can center it a lot better than this being, you know, moving around and stuff. And then also, with them pressed together already, it's going to be a really nice fit because when you get the Kydex really hot, it almost uh, adheres itself together. So you're getting more security with that too. So it makes it a little bit nicer when you have it already put together. But that's what we're going to do right now is drill the holes for the, the eyelets, and then we're going to put those in.
All right, so we're gonna clean these up so it matches up really nice. Right, same thing. Clean it up with the knife. All right, it should be a pretty tight fit if you use the right drill bit. That's what we're looking for. We don't want loose eyelets. You know, even if you press them in, you don't want them loose. All right, we got them all pressed in here. Now we're gonna take their eyelet tool And we're gonna go ahead and round off these over here. So this is already rounded off side. We're gonna use this side. So the next step is gonna to be to go heat this up in the oven and then we'll throw it in the Kydex press All right, that should be good enough for now. We're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. We'll come back and it should be good to go as far as the front part of the sheath that covers the blade and stuff. And then you noticed I didn't wrap the strap around the back. That's because it's just too hard and difficult to get it to, to be in place. So we're gonna take the heat gun after this is out, and we'll use the heat gun to actually heat up that little strap on the back. All right, let's pop this thing open, see what we got. All right, you can see the definition in it. And I think it's gonna work pretty good once we get the it's not really moving too much and then once we get this strap on the back of it then we'll be able to really get that cinch down pretty straight overall yeah not too bad I mean once we get the edges rounded off here that's gonna shave down a lot of excess but yeah let's get this strap on here and and mold it around all right it only took a second we got it to where it's malleable. Just making sure it's all the way up on, I'm just making sure the sheath is all the way on the ax. And we're just gonna hold this until I can start to feel it hardening up. It's still loose right now, flimsy. That's a good look at it from this side. Turned in place. Look at that. It's not going anywhere. Pop that in. Push that on. It's not going anywhere. 
All right, let's get this thing trimmed down. All right, we'll start shaving this down. Another step I like to do after I get it pretty much sanded down with the Dremel and the shape cut out, I like to take one of these drywall sanding blocks because it's able to give pretty easily. So it makes it shine it up really nice. And I just run this around the edges. And it gets all them rough edges and stuff off of it. There we go. Look at that. Nice and solid. It's not really going anywhere. So very simple DIY Kydex sheath right here that's going to keep your axe protected or hatchet. And it's going to keep everything in your pack safe from beating on this blade and getting cut or something like that from the blade. So really nice little sheath right there. All right, guys, we are finished with this Kydex Axe Sheath, and it turned out just amazing. Overall, this thing is just awesome. So if you throw this down in your pack, I mean, this axe right here is short enough that you can throw it in your pack. I mean, the handle might stick out the top. Uh, but I'm not using this as a belt axe or anything like that. So this is going to keep the blade protected. It's going to keep everything else in your pack protected, your pack itself, from getting cut by this blade. But man, I will say this thing turned out really, really good. And you know, it's really secure. It's not going anywhere. And it's super easy to take off because this doesn't come up on the handle too far. So it's not really hard to get off. You're not gonna be wrestling with it. It just pops off really, really quick, but it goes on really quick too. So this is just one idea. This is kind of like what I drafted up just on the fly. I mean, if you wanted to sit down and come up with a really, really nice design, then you could do that. But this is just something I made really, really quick as I was making this video. And you saw from the ones we have back here, the design is very similar, but it's a little different at the same time. But I think this turned out really, really good for this Trail Boss. If you're planning on making your own DIY Kydex sheath, you know, make it how you want to make it. This is just my opinion and my take on making a Kydex sheath for it that works for me, but it may not be the best solution for you. So get creative, make it yours, and you might come out with something really, really awesome. All right, guys, if you like these kind of videos, stay tuned for more. Hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and we'll catch you guys in future videos. Thanks for watching.